All right, guys, it's cold. Like, it's really cold. I'm sure y'all can see behind me all the snow and stuff. But we out here, we got stuff to do. Uh, so I ordered a new intake, or I guess manifold, manifold and throttle body. I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff slapped on the Civic today. And a new radiator also came in. Uh, I had, I'm going from, I guess, a single core to a dual core. I wanted a tri-core, but budget, 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 budget. If the Civic takes off, you know, things really going well, then we'll go ahead and do that. But uh, I may just cut to and show you guys what I envisioned happens with the Civic. If all goes right, you'll see it today. If not, I'll show you guys what the part actually looks like right now. So we got this throttle body. Or not the uh, not throttle body, the we got this manifold. And then we got our pretty little throttle body in here. I think it's almost 70 millimeters. It's big. Anyways, uh yeah, we got that part here. We're gonna go ahead and try to slap that in today. Some weird paper gasket hardware. And I had some people go on me about this, but I finally did get a dipstick for the K24. So let's go ahead and drop it in real quick before we actually get to the rest of the video. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, look at that. Okay, now I do something about this. This, this is for a reason. This is gonna have to come off. Hey, be quiet. I'm recording a video. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, oil cap changed out at some point. I may pretty these up, but for now I just need some sort of, uh, does it go down further? Oh, hey, no, there you go. Now it's flush. So I can get a little, nice little shot of that. Uh, the real, I guess, obstacle for today. Fuel rod needs to come up. The injectors need to come off. We need to take this off. This needs to come up somewhere. And I think that's it. I think we're, uh, oh yeah, I gotta take the two bolts to actually hold the manifold on right now because I have no other bolts in. Get those off. And then there's one hose way under, I don't know. Yeah, it's right there. That hose, that needs to come out. That looks like that goes to the manifold actually. Yeah, so that goes under the manifold and take that one out. And we'll go ahead and swap everything over. So I guess let's... Let's get to the video.
All right, guys. Uh, another intake manifold's off, and all the wires, I guess, whatever fuel system, all that stuff's out of my way. I'm gonna go ahead and actually replace the water outlet. Outlet, I guess. I'll show you guys. This is just so I can angle the radiator hose a little bit better. Hold on. So it's gonna be this. Comes with a new thermostat. Hopefully, I won't have to replace this one, but this just lets me angle the outlet however I need to. So, this part. Is this down here? So, we're gonna get that replaced and then we'll resume with the manifold. All right guys, so I went ahead and got the intake on. Um, I was showing a little bit of that just a second ago, but the intake's on, the throttle body's on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the idle air delete because with the Skunk 2 style manifold, I forget what it is, but they delete basically this part. This hose would normally run up here and then pop in there. But with this Skunk 2 style manifold, that's deleted. So I may just try to block this off from down here. And I think I might as well just end up doing the idle air delete, um, which would consist of blocking this nipple off. Yeah, I got to bolt my fuel system down and whatnot still, but you got to bolt or you got to block this nipple off here and then you put a plug in here. And then those parts on the old manifold look like this. Loops right over into this. This is, I don't even know. It's a $60 part, it's prone for cracking here. Um, I may swap it over, I may not, I don't know yet. I may leave it out it is, but I need to go ahead and swap over these sensors. This is one, and then this one on the bottom here. I need to swap this over, but I need to get a new gasket for that. It came with a throttle body sensor already on it. But I don't really trust anything other than Honda throttle body sensors unless it was uh, a K-Tune one. So I may swap this out in the end. But uh, that pretty much wraps this video up. But yeah, that pretty much wraps this whole video up. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and drop in my new radiator. Because I got a two core. I'll drop that in. And then swap the sensors over. Then I'm gonna take my ass inside. It's cold. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and take myself inside. It's cold. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's freezing or below freezing right now. But the Civic needed some stuff done to it, so I went and got that stuff taken care of. Um... Oh yeah, this is the old one I just showed you guys in the time lapse. But this is where we call it a day. Like I was saying, guys. Um, so I guess. 
Let's go ahead and take it back inside and we'll end it there. So congrats, made it the end of my video. Um, this one's back on the Civic, so you know, so I gotta get this grind on, get this stuff knocked out. Um, that was just me installing a Skunk 2, Skunk 2 intake manifold. It was 120, 170 bucks off eBay. It fits, injectors are kinda, uh, they don't wanna fit. So either I go back to the TSX injectors or I can do the RDX ones and just try to make the hole bigger or smaller o-ring. I don't know yet. This is a project car. Things keep going. But that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it. I need these views. Yeah, I really need these views. Uh, I need the internet to pay for my car. These are expensive. I've got five. Help. I have a problem. Other than that, keep moving forward. Peace out.